Are you tired of watching mass amounts of wastewater going down the drain and racking up those water bills? The Ice Cap RODI is built to provide super efficient water production, fast and safe. Making pure water for your aquarium has never been so smart, until now. The Ice Cap Smart RODI is a four stage filter that consists of the sediment pre filter, which efficiently removes particulate matter from the tap water. The carbon block pre-filter, which removes organics and chlorine from the water. A reverse osmosis membrane, which is the heart of the filtration system and removes over 98% of the most inorganic salts, heavy metals, bacteria, and almost all high molecular weight organics. And deionization cartridge that provides a final polish of the water and will remove any vast majority of elements that make it through the membrane. Over the last few years, some U.S. cities have started to use chloramines to treat the water. Unfortunately, chloramines can quickly exhaust your RO membrane if not removed prior. For this reason, if your city uses chloramines to treat the water, you must use a higher density carbon block capable of properly removing chloramines. If you are unsure if your water contains chloramines, contact your local water department or obtain a simple water test to determine if chloramines are present in your tap water. Each Ice Cap Smart RODI comes with three lengths of RO tubing, garden hose feed adapter, two ball valves, a drain saddle, and universal wrench filters and a set of instructions. Please ensure that all parts are included and undamaged. If parts are missing, please contact us at support at coralview.com forward slash support. The Smart RODI system can simply be placed on any stable surface or it can be mounted to any secure location. Keep in mind that the filter system will gain a substantial amount of weight when full of water. For this reason, it is necessary that the filter system be mounted to a strong backing. The vast majority of the system's connections consist of quick connect fittings. To separate an inserted tube from the fitting, pull the blue retainer tab out and push the collet in while pulling the tube away from the fitting. Installing the tube into the fitting could not be easier. Simply push the RO line firmly into the fitting and reinsert the retainer. To connect the water supply, attach the white feed line to the cold water supply using the included garden hose feed adapter. If your faucet or utility sink does not have the garden hose thread, you can purchase a feed water adapter or faucet coupler from your local hardware store. Next, connect the red wastewater line to the supplied drain saddle or place it in the drain. This line will produce a good amount of pressure and should be secured and directed into the drain at all times. To flush the pre-filters, place the blue product water line into your drain. Remove the pre-filter packaging and install their appropriate filter housings. Do not install the TFC membrane or the DI cartridge at this point. Slowly open the cold water supply valve and allow the first two housings to fill. Double and triple check the system to ensure that all fittings are tight and leak free. Plug in the RODI power supply and allow the controller to warm up and begin flushing water through the system by running for 15 minutes to flush the sediment and the carbon block filter cartridges. Although not commonly done, flushing the pre-filters will maximize the TFC membrane life. In order to install and flush a membrane, you must press and hold the timer mode button for three seconds to turn off the ice cap smart controller. Close the feed valve and turn off the water supply to the system. Do not install the DI cartridge at this point, but leave the pre-filters in place. Remove the TFC membrane from the protective bag and install it into the housing at the top of the RO unit. You will be required to disconnect the tubing in order to unscrew the cap. Securely seat the RO membrane to the housing. Once the RO membrane is seated, screw on the top and reconnect the tubing. Once everything is connected, once again open the feed valve to turn on the water, then press and hold the timer mode button for 3 seconds to turn on the system and allow the controller to warm up and begin flushing the water through the system for 30 minutes to remove any antibacterial agent from the TFC membrane.
Filling a DI cartridge is easy. The most important thing to remember is to tightly pack the DI resin into the cartridge. Loose DI will cause the water to channel around the DI, greatly reducing its efficiency. Press and hold the timer mode button for three seconds to turn off the IceCap Smart system. Close the feed valve and turn off the supply of water to the system. Unscrew the top cap from the DI cartridge and remove the foam ring. Pour in the DI resin and pack it down tightly as hard as you can. Tap on the counter to help settle the resin and at this point the resin should be tightly packed and flush to the rim. Put the foam ring back inside the cap and screw it into the canister. Place the DI cartridge inside the canister and screw it into the back into the unit. The Smart RODI controller is equipped with several different modes of operation and functions. Pressing the timer power button allows the user to cycle between the manual mode and the timer mode. Manual mode is what I would consider the basic mode of operation, where the user has to manually start and stop the production of water. Once the unit is on, it will continue to produce water until the user manually turns off the unit. Timer mode is a unique option only found on the IceCap Smart RODI system where the user can set the system to run for a specific time length. Timer mode comes in handy when the flushing new filters and for conscious querist who chooses to limit the chances of an overflow. To set the timer mode, press the timer power button once. Both the hour and the word timer setting will be flashing. Press the up or down button to set the number of hours. Press the timer power button again to toggle to the minutes. Press the timer power button once again to complete the process. If the setting is in idle for more than 5 seconds, flashing will stop and automatically complete the setup. Press the start button to begin timed operation. A nice feature of the timer is that even after a power outage, the timer will resume right where it left off. Total Dissolved Solids, or TDS, is a reading of organics and inorganic dissolved substances such as minerals, metals, and salts that may be found in the source water. It is also used to monitor the life and efficiency of the water filtration system. TDS is measured in parts per million so that the lower the reading, the more pure the water is. The IceCap Smart Controller comes equipped with three separate inline TDS readouts that monitor the condition of the pre-filters, TFC membrane, and DI cartridge. The first TDS probe monitors the feed water. The value will vary from location, but a high value in the 100s is not uncommon. The second TDS probe monitors the water after it has passed through the TFC membrane. As the membrane gets used up over time, the readings will begin to go up. When the value is greater or equal to 20, the word cartridge change will flash on the controller suggesting it's time to replace the TFC membrane. The last TDS probe monitors the final product water coming out of the unit. The normal value of TDS after the DI stage is zero. When the value is greater or equal to two, the word cartridge change will flash on the controller suggesting it is time to replace the DI cartridge. Here are some other features found on the display panel that will make using the unit super easy. A power icon that displays when the power plug has been inserted into a wall outlet. A pump icon to indicate that the pressure pump is cycling and the RODI filter is producing water. A flush icon displays when the unit is flushing. Flushing regularly will extend the life of your TFC membrane. The smart controller will flush 60 seconds right after the power is on. It will automatically flush for 60 seconds after one hour of water production. You can also manually flush the system by pressing and holding the flush button for 3 seconds. The manual flush lasts for 120 seconds. Here are some answers to some commonly asked questions. I plugged in the unit, but I immediately get the no water flashing icon with an audible alarm. How do I fix this? Check to make sure that the water source is on. The system will return to normal operation when the feed water is reintroduced. 
I fix a leak, but my system is still displaying the water leak flashing icon. How do I reset it? Turn off the system and be sure to clean and dry the water leak probe. My unit keeps displaying tank full icon. What should I do? Make sure the ball valve on the product DI water is open. Your new ice cap smart RODI filter should work trouble free right out of the box. But if you have any difficulties or questions, please contact our support center at coralview.com forward slash support. If you have any comments or tips to share with your fellow reefers, feel free to leave them in the area below. If this is your first time joining us, hit the subscribe button as every Thursday we release a new video related to reefing. Thank you again for watching CVTV. See you next time.